Hi YouTube, this is Chris Sell here and today I'm going to show you how I made 340,000 silver in just 30 minutes simply by gathering tier 2 heights. Yep, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it too in a 100% risk-free manner. If you're a newbie, no worries, you can follow the guide too since it's only gathering tier 2 heights. I will be also showing you how to boost your yield so that you can get as much height as possible in your single 30 minute run from the gears I'm using, to the tools, as well as consumable. Okay? If you have any questions, you can also drop me a comment below. I will answer them uh, as soon as I can. Okay, so now uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the gear I'll be using for this run. Okay, for this uh, run, I'll be using tier 5 gathering gears. Okay? So you can take a look at them uh, individually. Okay? So I'm using the uh, expert uh, skinning cap, okay, with the active skill as well as the passive skill enabled. The armor as well with the uh, passive and uh, active. The worker boots, okay. The backpack, okay, as well as uh, the consumable. I'm using goose pie, okay. Uh, it's very important that you actually uh, have a consumable that a, a, a pie. Uh, so that you can boost your yield as well as your carrying capacity for 30 minutes. Okay, if you can't get the tier 5 one, uh, you can get a lower tier one, no problem. Okay, the idea is just to consume them. Next, I'll also be using uh, in this run a skinning knife, tier 5 skinning knife. Okay, so uh, you will see a slight advantage uh, or slight efficiency in me skinning as compared to uh, you if you are uh, using anything that's lower than me. But it's just very slight, so no worries. Okay, now let's open up the world map. Okay, for this run, I uh, will be going to a tier 3 uh, blue zone. Okay, uh, the area is called Prospector Hopes. Okay, let me just uh, zoom in the map so that we can have a close up on the area that we will be focusing on. Okay, we won't be running around too much. In fact, uh, it will be quite a stationary uh, uh, spot. Okay, let me just uh, open up my pen and then I will circle out the area. Okay. Yeah, we'll be focusing on this uh, area. Okay, it's not a very big area, and as I mentioned, we won't be running around. So it's uh, basically a standstill at one spot and keep gathering. Okay, yeah, something like a personal zone. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, head out to Prospectors uh, Hope. Okay, and I will see you there. Okay, guys. Okay, five minutes left uh, before the uh, 30 minutes uh, time. Okay, I fast forward to save you the agony of having to watch uh, 25 minutes of me uh, standing at one spot uh, killing mobs and skinning them. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the amount of uh, skeleton bones that uh, I'm on my ground, yeah, it's, it's, it's tons of them. Yeah, I've been standing at this spot for the last uh, 25 minutes. Okay, uh, shooting at the uh, the deers, yeah, the tier two uh, wildlife mobs as they are around me. Okay, uh, this time I'm not using any uh, AOE uh, weapons. Okay, in fact I'm just using a normal bow, yeah, a very normal one. Yep. So uh, if you watch my previous vi video, you will know why I'm using a normal bow. <laughs> okay, do not watch the talk more about it. Okay, uh, but I won't say that there's no AOE. Okay, because uh, I'm actually doing a manual AOE. If you can see how I'm uh, actually uh, doing it now, okay, I'm uh, because some of the skills here uh, has uh, damage over time. Yep, it's uh, damage over time. So uh, what I'm trying to do now is uh, I will be circling uh, through the various uh, mobs to land at least a single arrow on each of them. Yeah, so that uh, the damage over time will apply uh, to the mobs. So. The effect is uh, pretty much similar to an AOE skill. Yeah, it's just that uh, it's a manual one rather than the uh, you know the, the, the normal automated one in a way. Yeah, if you like to call it that way. Okay. So yeah, so basically, uh, tier two mobs are easy to to kill. Yeah, that's why it's uh, very much uh, risk free. And this is a blue zone, tier three blue zone, so very safe. Yeah, no need to worry about uh, ganging or or someone uh, killing you. Uh, okay, but the only um, problem that I I, I I will say at this uh, area is that uh, sometimes it might be crowded. 
uh, especially if uh, people have watched this video and they are trying to replicate the same thing as uh, what I've been doing. Yeah, we can get uh, pretty crowded and then uh, the ROI yeah, won't be as good. Yeah, then you will need to shift uh, slightly a little bit to another spot uh, high up. Yeah, okay. The spawn rate is not that good. Uh, also, the mobs are a bit uh, spread out as you can see. Yeah, I try to go as high as I can. I still keeping to the uh, circle of my of my uh, ox. Yeah. Okay. So you can move study up. Yeah. If, if you get very uh, too crowded at this spot. Okay. The idea is to just uh, focus on killing the mobs and skinning them, killing the mobs and skinning them. Okay. Yeah. You have to do it fast. Yeah. Because uh, thirty minutes is not very long. Mm. Yeah. It, it is. It is not. It's not. It's not very long. Yeah, hence uh, you need to make sure uh, you are able to get as much uh, mobs as you can, as much heights as you can, yeah, within this uh, period of time. Okay, so you can see I'm wilding, uh, just keep processing my my uh, my normal attack. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, with the normal bow, I, I I will be focusing a lot on normal attacks. Yeah, not so much on the skills. Yeah, even uh, the skills are also to complement the normal attacks. Yep. Yeah, and also uh, in my combat gear. Yeah, if you if I were to switch to my combat gear when I do any dungeon run, you will see that I actually uh, doing all uh, increase at the attack speed. Ah, I get out of the of the zone. See. Okay. The one of the tips here is also to make sure you stay within the uh, the circumference of your. Uh, Transport mount. Yeah, if you are using the ox, uh, make sure you stay uh, within the circumference so that uh, you can move around fast. See, I'm crawling now, especially at the uh, towards the end of the uh, uh, thirty minutes. Yeah, it's actually quite uh, painful <laughs> if you are moving very slowly here. Yeah, because time equals uh, silver. Yeah, and uh, trying to save money. Yeah, time equals silver. That's why you need to make sure that uh, you're getting as much as possible. Yeah, within the the thirty minutes time. Okay, let me just get the last few more. I'm conscious of the time. Yeah, it's, it's reaching the limit soon. Okay, I'm trying to make sure uh, I, I, I do it uh, in exactly 30 minutes. Okay, so I, I'm not able to max out my uh, carrying capacity. Okay, I'm not, ma I'm not able to. Maybe in another uh, uh, 45 uh, minutes, I should be able to max out uh, my, my carrying capacity. Yeah. But uh, this time around, I'm, I'm not able to. Okay. So I can see yeah, my inventory. Yeah, it's pretty much filled up already. Okay, so let's head back to Bridge Watch. Okay, at uh, this point of time, I will cut away the transport scene and I also had uh, repaired all my tools so and gears. So I'll be going straight into the marketplace to show you uh, how much we can make uh, exactly in this uh, run and how I do it. Okay, let's open the market tab, okay, click on the sell tab, click on the sell button, pull out the stats, okay, let's take a look now at the buy order, the buy order basically is uh, the orders that someone is willing to uh, buy from me, you can see it's about 40 silver uh, per height, this is a good price, if you wish to earn more, you can also create a sell order, uh, whereby you set your own uh, price to sell, but uh, do note that if you set it too high, uh, if there's no buyer, yeah, uh, your goods will be left in the uh, market and uh, for a long time and then you won't be able to make the money. Okay? Okay, let's take a look at this is my inventory. Okay, so we'll be setting away all this height in uh, the 30 minutes uh, run that we have uh, gathered them. Okay, so take a look at the top right corner, 3.11 million. Uh, let's see after we have sold off uh, everything. What is the uh, total amount of silver that we have made? Okay, so uh, let's click on the sell button. Okay, take a look there. Okay, it's still at 40, has not changed much yet. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's start to sell them one by one. Okay, 3.26, 3.3. Okay, and we are at 3.45. 
Okay, so if you do the max 3.45, 3.11, it's exactly 340k. So, ta ta! There you have it 340k in 30 minutes. Okay, easy peasy, I would say. Yeah, easy silver. So, if I can do it, uh, so can you. Okay, no problem. It's 100% risk free. Okay, so, well, I think uh, that's it for this video. Okay. Uh, please uh, like and uh, subscribe if you're not done so. Okay, as I mentioned, uh, if you have any questions like how to do this run, uh, what kind of tools you need, etc., etc., uh, please feel free to comment below, and uh, uh, I will reply to them uh, as soon as I can. Okay, so till the next video, uh, stay safe and goodbye. Thank you.